New this morning, the city of South Burlington is looking to update its comprehensive plan for 2024, and they're asking for the community to put to, for their input. That's right. WC 5s Adrian Pastor joins us live in the studio with how neighbors can weigh in. Adrian. Yeah, Zuri Lauren, good morning. City officials say they're doing something different right now and hoping to hear from a wide variety of community members. A meeting tonight is one in a series of conversations that community members are welcome to join. The city's comprehensive plan typically gets a refresh every eight years and includes items like land development, expanding employment opportunities and projects aimed to help the city reach its climate resilience goals. It is our roadmap for what the city wants to become, how it wants to evolve to meet the needs of the future over the next 10 plus years. According to Paul Connor, the city's director of planning and zoning, as communities continue to evolve, resident input is crucial as we continue to see improvements each day. In South Burlington, we see that change in front of us every day. We see the city center being built. We see land being conserved. We see uh, redevelopment of places like Shelburne Road. We're always eager to bring new voices into that conversation and really make sure that the work we're doing for the community of South Burlington represents as many of our residents as we possibly can. Each conversation focuses on a specific theme like energy, climate, recreation and culture, and transportation to give people a chance to discuss what they'd like to see happen in the city over the next couple of years. We really want to make sure that those folks who live here or have aspirations of living here in the future um, have a say in what that growth looks like and how our services keep up with that growth. And as for what people can expect, the biggest projects heading into the city include more housing along Market Street, including commercial spaces, increasing pedestrian accessibility, and taking action to ensure South Burlington meets its climate action goals. And if you can't make tonight's meeting, there are more coming up throughout the month of February and March at the South Burlington City Hall or online from 7 to 8.30 p.m. In the studio, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.